Namaste. Namaste and everybody welcome. We go on again, dive deep into psychology. I love to do lately spiritual psychology. This is what I'm best of. Telling you how and why things in human spirit and psychic work and how we can influence things in our life that happen to us. I love to motivate, I love to inspire. If I have some wisdom I have to give you, and it has to be an example of my life. So, happy full moon, it's on my window. I'm so blessed full moon is always on my window. And she's looking at me, I'm looking at you, I'm speaking at you as one, I am on the moon. I love the moon and the moon. <laughs> so, this is important topic and I really feel many are to benefit from this topic. I put my glasses there and piece of paper if I for forget something. Because if I don't do this, then I'm too long and I don't speak about everything. But now I will try to be on all points. You know, so many are crying, lamenting, suffering, that people don't respect them. How to make people respect them? So much disrespect in virtual world, in real world, everywhere. So how to make people respect you? First of all, you really cannot make anybody to respect you. You can only be in a certain vibration and in a certain way of behavior and acting and energy that you influence by law of attraction that people respect you. <clears throat> but you cannot make people to respect you always. By, I mean, you can by old 3D measures when you forcefully gain respect over somebody else. But this is spiritual class. How to be loved and people still respect you very, very, very much. I may not have fame, but I have respect on all levels of my life from everybody in real life and here. If no respect, I remove. Like I said, you cannot make everybody to respect you. Some people will not. So the point, the main point, how to make people respect you is that you respect yourself first and you love yourself. That's how people will respect you. This is vibration. You are proud on who you are. You are proud on what you are doing. And you are that vibration, power. You respect yourself because we do not respect ourselves many times. And then, as a reflection of that disrespect to ourselves, others also do not respect us. It's all vibration. You know. And I can say just by my vibration when I go to the city, when I sometimes I play flute, when I go to the shop a few hours. I love to do this once a week, sometimes two, just a just few hours to play flute and make children happy. I love to do most this, what I'm doing to you, writing and giving you something so you may respect me, giving you something that is worth. <laughs> But I see when I'm in the city and like this, people respect me just by presence. I was observing some people just becoming silent and like this and energy 
When you have power, when you respect yourself, when you love yourself, the match is coming. People do not disrespect you very much, very often, because they feel the energy. They don't know what they feel, but they feel it's better to respect. If you respect yourself, you love yourself, you don't allow to be disrespected, then there is much respect. And sometimes people do not respect you. People do not respect me. It happens. Also, if you respect yourself, if you love yourself very much. So then comes something else. You have to not allow people to disrespect you. Like I always love to say, if I'm not doing it to you, what I'm not doing to others, I don't allow others to do upon me. And even if this is normal, what they can do to everybody else and talk with everybody else, it violates my energy, it disrespects my field. I'm not hurt, I'm not offended, I'm just in my own power. I will tell you, no, I don't like this. Sorry, stop this. This is not my thing. Do this to somebody else. You have to show that you respect yourself when others don't respect you. And you have to mean it. If they do not listen, you have to be stronger. You have to take measures. I, re I remove many people here in social media just because they cannot understand that when I say one time, I mean it. When I say two times, I definitely mean it. I don't say three times. It's enough. Two minutes of giving my energy to disrespectful people that cannot accept my will in my home, although I respect everyone's house, page, unconditionally would not bring my issues there. I don't have them within me to bring them to somebody else. And when I had them, very much of them, now it's only fine clearing. Then I was dealing with them on my own because I respected others. Others will respect you where you respect them, you know. So, you have to have boundaries, strong boundaries which show how much you respect yourself and you have to show in your own example that you mean it. Not that I'm speaking now this video. If I speak this video now to you, if I teach you how others to respect you, I have to act like this in my life. If I don't like somebody, but it's what they are giving to me, I tell them, please. And you have to be nice if you want others to respect you. You have to nice without being an asshole. Express your will. Sorry, I don't like this. Please, you do, do, do this with somebody else. I don't want to answer to you. If you don't like what I'm doing, you don't have to find something from me for yourself. I don't want to debate about it. I don't want to be right. I don't want to be wrong. You have to be nice to express your will. Like you can say this like an asshole, like go fuck yourself, go somewhere, I don't want to deal with you. Get the fuck, get off my face, why are you bothering me? Or you can say the same thing very respectfully, please. This is not what I do. You don't have to like what I do, you don't have to agree with it, please. Social media is big, go find something for yourself somewhere that you actually like. And I won't, in your space, do what you like. I won't be bothered even though if I don't like it. You have to like this. You have to respectfully express yourself. And people will start more and more respecting yourself, you. I don't get on my page much disrespect, really. Because I have very, I'm very sensitive, most sensitive the things that others don't not notice, I don't like, I will tell you, this is not my game. Please respect it.
And people know this. If they don't know, they learn. If they cannot take it, they learn in a way that they don't want to learn because I don't want to deal with it. If I ask you nicely, please, you are in my classroom, you are in my temple, in your house, you can do whatever you want. I will not oppose, I will not tell you anything, you have free will, but please respect my way in Mikasa, in my house. If you cannot take this, then you will learn on hard way that I mean it. You have to respect yourself, you have to be respectful to others as you respect yourself, and in this way, your image is created and the energy is felt that you respect yourself. And you have to mean it because sometimes people will not respect you. And then you have to show how much you respect yourself. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to fight. I don't want to be right. You have to sometimes take some people out of your life. Just because they cannot respect you as you respect them. And this is a very important point. How to make people respect you. You have to respect them. I'm very careful. I don't even want to comment on <laughs> my truth and to be wise to tell you how it is if something I feel it's illusion that you have posted. No, this is your free will. This is your energy. Because I'm so sensitive on my page and I'm a teacher with great following and I respect your difference because I will not like if somebody will start to hear something that I, don't, that I don't like in my house. I respect you, your creation, whatever you do in your energy. It, if it doesn't touch me, you can do whatever you want. You can post dicks all over your page. I will not say nothing. I will not report you. I will stay away. You can post trash, you can do whatever you want. You can deceive people, I don't care. This is not my world. I will just not focus on you, but I will respect you. To respect others doesn't mean you agree with them and like them. To just respect that free will right that is given by source and source never breaks to every being in this world, in this free will world. I don't like it, it's disgusting, but I respect it from far. I go away from this. I will focus to spread higher dimensional truth, love, help people. They respect themselves more and respect others more. And I will respect your shit. I still feel it's shit, but okay, if you want it, I respect it. I will not deal with it. To respect every, everyone, if you like them or not. And like, I will only have a ferry of comment response if I don't like something that somebody tells me. I will maybe say something from my, I have a razor blade tongue that is very wise. <laughs> like ferry with attitude. I will say something then. But otherwise I will never disrespect others and even then maybe not or only if they why if they violate my energy much i love to be a comedian i love to be fairy with attitude i love to show them a mirror and <laughs> well i'm not i don't feel nothing here inside i love the game just but i will never ever without being provoked, made such joke on you, on anybody. I will always respect everyone as I want myself to be respected by everyone. I will not do to others what I don't want to be done upon myself. This is how you make people to respect you. And this must be your truth. So people may see. So when I speak, I don't talk shit on other people. Creation, everybody listening, everybody, my conscience is clear because 
for a long time. I didn't do this very long time. And everybody who's listening, everybody who will listen, nobody can say something against this. Because if I ever said something, it's respectful. It's only to motivate you, it's to agree with it, it's to show joy. Although I don't, because I don't have time. So much to do, and when I'm here, I want to do video, I want to write this, I want to write this, take long, long hours and preparation and everything. I don't even have time to focus, to give shit to others. So when I get little time, I give love and respect, because I want you to give me love and respect here. So if you give and you respect others, you don't disrespect, you don't take people down. If you, then you will get respect. And another point, I don't even have to look to the paper, is that you bring value into people's lives. You teach them something, you're giving something that is helping them that is helping them grow, that is motivating them to go on, that is giving them power, that is teaching them how to go through lessons in life, how to deal with things that are not good for them, how to get rid of toxic people, how to love themselves. If you are giving something to people in any way, I speak about myself because this is what I do, <laughs> and I see people respect me. When you do something that, I'm sorry to say, but respect is earned. Love is unconditional. I love my enemy. I love uh, people who I want to stay away and never see in my life because their energy is just not my vibration. But I love them. I unconditionally send them love. But respect, everybody knows. You don't respect them. To say I love everybody is enlightened state. Okay, I say I love everyone because I love everyone. But it doesn't mean I will not put somebody in their place and I will not stay away from many people in my life and don't want them near. I love them as unconditionally source loves them, as God loves ev ev everyone. But respect, my love, my intimacy that I allow in my energy this is respect, this is I choose. So you respect me, I respect you. As long as I don't see disrespect, you respect me. So it is. Your enemy can respect you. Okay, this is the other point, I have to finish this one. You have to bring value in the life of people. You have to do something that is actually helping people. You know, doing this for three years and I've seen much respect, maybe not so much fame, but much respect, much gratitude. It brings joy to my heart as I'm only sharing my own life and people get help out of it. Really give them something that helps them to become better, greater version, to come more to their real self. People will respect you just for that. And to show consistency, because when I started this, I was like 15 years almost and like this practicing spirituality, but I decided like um, I'm very master me mentality. I said I will not teach really until I'm ready. And when you're ready, you have to be the truth. You have to know yourself. You have to have no doubt. You have to know nothing and have no doubt. That's how Buddha said, that's enlightenment. When you don't doubt in anything and you don't know anything anymore, but everything is known to you. I started this three years ago and everybody, I was on fire like I'm now even more, I don't know, crazy, crazy. 
too much. But even now it's on fire. But that time was even more. <laughs> and people were telling me, you will burn yourself out, you will be in a few months, you won't be able to do anything anymore. But my nature is fire, my nature is fire. But after a year and like this, because they saw consistency, they saw only teaching always true, 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 and no drama, no 3D stuff, no speaking about my pro problems, nothing of this nature, and consistency, respect came. When you are consistent with what you are doing, then you show the result, the example that you are that word that you are speaking. When you are going in that pace, When people really see this is who you are, then you gain even more respect, like this. If you are a good person, if you bring something good in people's life, and you are good at it, you are sincere at it, you gain respect. in your life, from others, and just being like this. I know how my relatives treated me like seven, eight years ago, and how they treat me now. It's only respect, top respect, and everybody here, the village and everything. So it's just the energy, how you change changes the behavior of others and they respect you by the energy because people on the street I see here elderly people never greeting me now everybody happy greeting me you know it's the energy something they feel you know when I came from India the, there was a priest that hated me here in St. Thomas Village. Now I have a priest that respects me so much that it's a little bit scary. I'm not going to church, I'm not doing anything. I'm passing by when I go to forest. When people really see and feel your energy. <laughs> like, when I meet this man, like, He's preaching to others, but uh, he will listen to me 15 minutes and only say, yes, so it is, yes, so it is, yes, too much respect. And I'm speaking him things that go against re religion. He's a nice guy. He respects me so much that I was amazed like half a year ago when I was hitchhiking. And he drove by and didn't stop. I was thinking, what? Okay. And then after 20 minutes, he came back. <laughs> and he drove some way further. Then he got the picture that I was standing there. And he apologized and he said he returned like this. So I can see how people have respected me like 10 years ago, eight, eight years ago, when I was different, when I didn't respect myself, when I didn't love myself, when I was not doing what I'm doing and being that inside. And now even priest listens to me like I'm a priest and respects me like I would be a priest. So things change and everybody respects me here and all relatives and everything beautiful. People who don't respect anybody respect me. Like this woman here living downstairs. <laughs> Nobody likes the... Nobody will say beautiful word about her because she is gossiping about everybody and nobody likes her. And she has her tricks and everything. But to me, she's so beautiful that I can have only beautiful words about her. I don't know. I don't see these things anymore. I don't see this, her, <laughs> her attributes that others see. I see only her respect and love and like this. So people will respect you when you respect yourself, when you change. And when you really unconditionally send love to everyone 
and they feel this and everybody will respect you as a result and I see like this story with priest it's funny it's too much funny because it's even to me it's like what is this happening okay okay let me see because I have some points more oh 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 yes yes strong boundaries like i was speaking before strong boundaries to respect yourself to don't allow nobody to disrespect your energy that re remind me what is this uh, fighter evan he is like a bit of beard like some old god yeah. i saw like you have to have strong boundaries like one man in a crowd said i will beat you i will beat you and he said who the fuck are you i don't know you who are you shut up you have to respect yourself when people attack you when people challenge you when people want something from you they won't fight you they want this who the fuck are you i feel like this same in groups and hearing comments, sometimes this is not ha happening anymore. But when somebody comes and starts to teach me something, start wants to give me a lesson, wants to challenge me, wants me to answer to them, to explain myself, I'm like, who the fuck are you? I don't know you. You don't know me like that, shut up. Who are you even? What are you doing here? I don't know who you are. I don't even know you, and even if I would know you, I would not do this to you, do what you like. I not deal with you. What is this? You have to cut people's attempt to take your energy. You have to respect yourself. And really, who the fuck these people are? When I go to their profiles, I see they are not inspiring nobody, they are not teaching nobody, they are not giving anything to, to the world, that, uh, and nobody listens to them. So what? why would I deal with this? I don't even deal if somebody, one gave me master who has, uh, uh, <laughs> who has hundreds of likes and he was giving me shit. I don't care. You will not give me shit, I don't care if you're famous, I don't care if nobody likes you. But usually people who give you shit, if you go take a look what they are doing, they are doing nothing, they are helping nobody, they are having no impact. And it's really like Evan said, who the fuck are you? Well, I don't have time for this. I have to work with champions. You just have to respect yourself, have boundaries, because people, you know, people who, who know least about you judge you the most. They don't know nothing about you. Nothing. You have to respect yourself, and I didn't ask for this. I would never do this to them. I don't want to give them energy. I don't have time. I want to create beautiful things, share my love, inspire people, motivate people, give them my love, dance with those who love me, and fly to heaven. I don't want to deal with this. Strong boundaries. You know what violates you. You know what... You don't want to deal with it. You know what? You don't have time to deal with it. You know what? You are not here to do. And you set this, this strong boundaries. You don't allow people to disrespect you. That's how you make people respect you. What more we have? We have something more? Yep, we have something more, yes. That one is logical, no? 
you have to be man and a woman of your word. You have to be sincere, truthful, honest, on the point with your words. Mean what you say. If you don't like to do this with me, I ask you, you say no. If you like it, you say yes. If you will do something, you say yes. If you will not, you say no. If you promise something and say that you will do something, you just don't use your words, but only say if you really are to do it. And if you say you have to do it, to be truthful, you have to be one with your word. King is respected. And king and his word are inseparable and one. King without word is nothing. Word is most sacred and word makes you royal. And when you are royal, you are respected. And royal is the heart. You are one with your word. You never break your word. You mean what you say. People will respect you when you are truthful, honest, sincere, on point. You say no if you mean no. You don't do things that you mean no. You say yes if you mean yes. If you say, I will help you tomorrow on this and that, tomorrow you help on this and that. If you cannot, you apologize. But that happens only if something comes in between that you cannot. You have to honor your word. Without if you honor your word, you can be just a simple man and woman, and you are a queen and a king. And if you don't honor your word, your own word that you give, you are just saying things, not keeping it insincere, just for a show to gain something, I don't know what. You can rule the world but you are just another politician. You can be just a simple man. Nobody in the world, but king in the eye of angels. You have to be truthful. In this world, nobody respects anybody because People do not respect their own words. People say stuff, I will do this for you. We have all free will. We don't owe nothing to each other. But when we say, I will give you this, I will do this for you, we have signed the contract. Now we have to do. Because we have said it. Now, it's not our free will if tomorrow we change our mind. Something may happen and comes in between. This is the only thing that can happen. But we cannot just change our mind. And we cannot just say things and then forget in five minutes. People in this world don't keep their word. They don't mean what they say. You cannot rely on what they say. You cannot trust. But that's the difference between a king and a man, between a queen and a woman. Queen and her word are inseparable and one. King and his word is inseparable and one. Royal. That's what makes heart royal. And if you will be sincere to people, if you will be truthful and consistent in your truthfulness and never lie to people, never tell to people things that you will not do after, but always be your word, spoken, word that I am. If I said it, I will do it. If 
I don't say it, I want to do it. I don't say much, nothing. I just do it when I can because then I'm sure that I can do it and I can sure keep the word that I am. Because if something comes between and I don't do it, I feel I cannot. Word for me is everything. If I give you my word, I have to keep it finished. That's why I give you word only when this is what I am to do. I give my word that to, today I will go to toilet. Because sure, I will go today. <laughs> but for other things, I don't know. Now yet. And I will sleep very... I will sleep. I will sleep. I'm tired. And I will give you my word now at the end. Even for sleeping, you can intend and visualize that sleeping. I cannot give you my word, but I do my best to sleep like an angel. Like it's been for past two weeks and I'm grateful. I can give you my word for only that when I'm sure. 144% that I am to do. I am to breathe in now every second or so because otherwise I am to die. So I give you my word that I am to breathe until I am alive in this body I am to breathe. <laughs> and until I am alive I am to do whatever I can on my dreams and to inspire people and to teach people how to get free of bullshit of this world and become their own unique versions of Buddha, Jesus, Krishna, whatever you want to be. That I will do until I can and how I can. This I give you my word because nothing else I cannot do. I can do nothing else. I just want to do this. I want to inspire people, motivate people. I want to give my teaching out. I want to write poetry. I want to roar. And I give you my word as long as I can. On the level that I can do it, I am to do it. And I am to breathe while I do it until my last breath. On this earth, so I give you my word. Only if ascension will go so advanced that I will need no more breathing. That time, no. I guess. That I give you my word. <laughs> and that I will remain a comedian. What else we can say? Oh yes, you see why I didn't even have to put my glasses on. You have to own your weirdness. <clears throat> I do this and I don't care. And you have to love yourself and respect yourself enough that if others don't understand, if others judge you, if others criticize things, Sometimes people criticize things what I do. Why are you saying these things? Why you have this accent? Why are you acting silly? Why are you speaking like a child sometimes? Why are you this? Because I like it. Why are you I? Why I, 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 I? Why are you speaking I? I is my weirdness. I don't say I. I say I because I see you. But, I, but, but when they ask me why you speak I, I say, why, I, 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 so that your monkey mind can run, run after I, 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 and you miss all the picture and everything. It's better for you if you focus on the content for your spiritual growth. It's much better than your monkey mind focusing on I, 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 I. I will give them fairy with attitude. Own your weirdness. Be proud. So many times I got from people, why I? Because my articles and these things people read much beautiful, I'm grateful. And people sometimes, why I, 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 I? Why, why? Why you focus on I and you miss all the heavenly glory, you idiot? Focus on what I try to show you. Own your weirdness. Like Salvador Dali. He was asked, why are you writing these crazy things? What are you trying to write? What are you trying to paint? What is this? 
Salvador Celis and said, I don't know. I don't know what I painted. I'm enigma. Answer is within you. You tell me. You know. I don't know. It's your answer. Own your weirdness. When you don't explain your, yourself to people, you know. <laughs> then you don't answer to people that challenge you, but you show your own truth by such divine craziness. People will respect you. You have to dare to be yourself. And we all have that weirdness, because that weirdness is you. We all want to be normal, and when we are norm normal, nobody respects nobody. So we are according to the norm. But weird is your uniqueness, and you start unapologetically expressing your weirdness, owning your weirdness, not apologizing for it, explaining yourself for it, defending yourself for it, but loving it and being proud of your weirdness and people will respect you what else we can speak let me see hey i have many points one point more you have to stand for something like a lion you have to show your bravery to do things others will not to say things others will not to show really that you are standing for the cause that you are representing. Fight for something with love. I fight for enlightenment, for divine feminine to rise. And I gain many respect I gain from goddesses. Because I'm not much really scrolling, not even everyday news feed I create and bring value. But when I see some men disrespecting or challenging women or just something that I don't like, I will stand up for it like a lion. I will put a man on his place because why he disrespecting creation of a goddess, leave her alone. You don't have to give shit. And many girls I gained respect just by this. I'm standing for it. Divine feminine. I... I'm more happy with female audience. I may, I even may cut slack more to female audience, but uh, uh, men can really. Okay, I'll not go into this. <laughs> I sound like a feminist. I'm <laughs> feminist who's a general. That's the secret. I gain respect from many women, from goddesses, and men are maybe now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, you have to stand up for something. I know I'm here to help Divine Feminine rise, to step in her power, goddess step in her power. All this, what I do is mostly for Divine Feminine. In men also. In men also, Divine Feminine to rise. So, my brothers, I love you too. But I really stand for this because I was all my life focusing on divine feminine. I'm a feminine being also. From birth, I was full Venus, full moon, everything full. Just like a girl, most emotional and sensitive. And on focusing on divine feminine, I reached peaks of spiritual awakening and enlightenment and I owe everything to mother and now I just want to do everything to help divine feminine to get her power back to rise the goddess up because that's the purpose of a man to rise the goddess in his power up if I have wisdom if I have truth I will use it to rise divine feminine rise the goddess and I stand for this I work for this endlessly I give my blood joyfully it's my joy and I love 
when goddesses thank me that I help them to solve some situation, that they could get rid of narcissistic men, that they could respect themselves more, and now people more respect them and like this. And I get much rewards in my heart just when I see that I'm helping to goddesses and also to men. But I will be honest and sincere, I do this first for ladies. Not to want anything from ladies, but to give them power that men have took away from them in past. <laughs> you have to do that, and that, that's how you gain respect from others, and that's how you become a master, and that's how God gives you all the power of God that nobody can fuck with you anymore, and people respect you. That's the key. You have to give women power back. You have to empower divine feminine within yourself and within all the girls. And if some boys wanted, yes, please, welcome. But that's the secret. That's how you get the most power and you become the great man yourself. Speaking now to men. You gain respect when you stand for that what is in your heart and you do everything in that direction to move some mountains in that direction and you will get respect <laughs> like this. And you have to be example of what you are speaking, what you are giving to people, what I'm speaking now, what I'm teaching has to be my reality. In this way, I have honor. I am one with the world that I am an example in my life. If I'm teaching you about how to get free of karma, how to get free of toxic relationship, how people respect you, I have to have beautiful relationships myself, no drama in life. People have to respect me. I have to respect others. If I teach spirituality, I have to be enlightened. If I am the world that I am, I will get respect because these are the actual results in example. So that's all. I will wrap it up. I spoke a lot. And thank you for respecting me. I respect you all. I love you always. I love everyone. But I respect you because you respect me as I respect you. And this way you gain respect when you respect me and this way I gain respect when I respect you and in this way if we respect others and we respect ourselves people will respect us and who will not respect us we will remove them and don't allow them to disrespect us that's all that's all family I love you I respect you, respect yourself so others will respect you. And if your work, if your work, if my work resonates with you and you feel to support my work, to assist my work, to go on and grow, every coin is respected and really appreciated. And I'm so grateful. And you receive healing, white source, light, healing, distance. For me, session beyond time and space, you don't feel it, but your faith is that heals it. I love you and be blessed and thank you for respecting me. Thank you for loving me. I love you. I respect you. Namaste. Respect yourself. Respect others. And don't allow nobody to disrespect you. That's how people will respect you. Namaste, namaste, I love you, love you.